at first you don't succeed, try, try again, even if it's more than a hundred times. That's exactly what Lucy Hughes did in the kitchen of her student apartment in Sussex. She spent months experimenting with fish skin and scales to create a material that could replace oil-based plastic. I created Marina Tax for my final year project. Um, it's a biodegradable material uh, sourced from organic materials, so using waste from the fishing industry, um, combining that with binders from the sea, so that's using red algae, so agar from red algae, and combining it to create a plastic film alternative. According to the United Nations, the fishing industry produces more than 50 million tons of waste each year. Lucy wanted to reduce waste from the fishing industry and at the same time create a biodegradable plastic to replace single-use plastics used for shopping bags and food packaging. When I felt the skins and the scales in my hands, I could sort of see that there was potential locked up in it. It was so flexible yet pliable and um, strong. So it's kind of struck me that nature can make so much from so little. Why do we need to have hundreds of man-made polymers when nature has so many already available? Lucy says marina tex can be mass-produced cheaply because it's made in low temperatures, unlike conventional plastics. A small amount of fish waste can go a long way. Waste from one Atlantic cod can produce 1,400 bags. And if marina tex ends up in the ocean, Lucy says it wouldn't be a problem for marine life because they can safely eat it. It's not necessarily plastic that's the problem. It's, it's actually our kind of our dependency on and how we have used it, which um, has become an issue. So it's our overuse of, for example, single-use plastics that might be used for only 10 to 15 seconds before we then have to throw that away. Her invention has won the James Dyson Award, a worldwide design competition that encourages university students to fix a problem that needs solving. Lucy says she'll use the award's $35,000 cash prize to enter the next phase of research and development, after which she plans to roll out Marina Techs worldwide. Natasha Hussein, TRT World.